Hello friends, welcome back and this is Farah Sheikh with you. In today's Excel video, we are going to learn how to sum up the data. But this is not normal summing up the data. Well, let me walk you through the Excel sheet and show it to you what do we have it today. So this is our data we have extracted from our ERP system. And this employee number 111037 has some late come entries. And we would just like to sum up those entries. So if I am just going to simply do sum equals to the entire range, value is coming zero so let me show it to you how can we do this one and we'll be looking at examples since i know my entire data is in text i am going to convert it into a value but the challenge doesn't end over there we have another challenge that in case if we have any kind of a special character we have to handle that as well note my friends if you are an office 365 user with the new calculation engine then you don't need to press Control shift enter but in case if you don't have the new calculation engine then you need to press Control shift enter so here we go, equals to value and the entire range, close parentheses, enter. So as soon as we hit enter, the entire range in the dynamic array, which was text being converted to value. Now we have a error, which is called value error. Because there is no number over here, we have that error. So to handle that situation, we are just going to write F error and comma, and we'll call it as zero. If there is an error, just return it as a zero. And then that function, we are just going to wrap it into the sum function. This seems to be a decimal value, but when we apply the formatting, you will get the correct answer. So I'm just simply going to copy this formula, control X from here, and we are just going to replace it from here with the new one. And those who doesn't have the new calculation engine, just press control shift enter. So that's two hours, 13 minutes. So let us bring some new data to our table. We have added the data over here and now I'm just going to update the range. And what I can see, the earlier record was two hours, 13 minutes. And now we have just added only two minutes. There is something wrong. These data has not got added over here. I know it's very difficult to track it out when you have such kind of a data. My best experience was that I used to always just wrap the text and just see that if there is a for the line feed or is there any new character just by adding a word code. So now I know that there is a line feed and we would not like to disturb our source data. So we need to know the ASCII code for the line feed. And this is a website which I always use. And many times I try to find it from the Excel itself. So here the ASCII code for the line feed is number 10. So we need to slightly change our formula now. So we are going to say again, this time substitute now substitute these text, comma, if my old text is care 10, comma, then replace it with nothing. Close parentheses. Enter. When I will wrap it into the value function, now you can see the entire array has been converted to value. Now let's add it up by putting up if error. And if it is an error, comma, zero. Close parentheses, enter. And then sum this up close parentheses bingo so this is a decimal value no worries we're just simply going to copy it replace it Control v bingo the most important thing you should be able to read what your data is having now let me show you a second example so this was a data been given to me by one of my subscriber and he would like to just total up the data and he don't like to change it anything from this data because it was been extracted from his erp system when I got the data, I was surprised. I don't know what is a special character hiding behind this. So there was a solution for me, which I could do it with the Power Query. But unfortunately, his system doesn't support Power Query. There was a function called code. So once I selected the code and enter, I got this character 160. So when I went back to my ASCII table, I saw that 160 is a special character. So my task became easy again. So if I would simply just do it with the value, it will not work it out because it has that special character. So it will give me a value error. So we are just going to use that equals to substitute the wonderful function we have here. Substitute comma square 160 comma quotes. Nothing, just blank. Enter. Hmm, now things are changing. Now we can see over here, it has converted that into a text value. Now we can simply just wrap this function into value, but we will have a problem over here. 
So I can handle it by the if error statement or I can again substitute my text. So let me show it to you how I'll do it by substituting my text. Again, we are going to put a substitute, comma. The old text is dash and we would like to replace it with a zero. Enter and pull it all the way this side. Bingo. So all the text which you're having dash, it has been replaced with zero. So this is how you will be identifying the crap data in your data source. I'll be wrapping up the entire function into the value and close parentheses. Control enter, bingo. So everything has been converted to a value now. Now we can simply again wrap this function into a sum function. Close parentheses. Control enter and we got all the results over here. The new calculation makes us easy to understand and easy to understand the formula when it's coming to an array. It breaks up the formula and give us the results for a better understanding what is happening behind the scenes. So that's how you are going to sum up the data in case if you have spaces or you have additional SKI character or a special character. So I hope my friends you have enjoyed this video. So please push a like button, share this video, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for the latest updates. So signing off for today, your friend Farah Sheikh from F Sheikh Excel Master. See you soon. Happy learning. Have a great day.